All right, we've got a lot of other things we've got to talk about here today, including... We've got to talk about Pumpkin Adam Page. Yeah, CM Punk and uh, Hangman Adam Page and the... There's a lot of stuff going on Promo that Punk cut on Adam Page, who... So has any, anything, anything, anything happened since? Nope. Okay. Nothing's yeah. happened since. So what happened? Hangman was uh, told to go to the building. Well, and then was story. told not to go to the building. Well, that's that's there's there's a lot of that's 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 some different story. No, Punk is. Um, we'll get to that in a second. So Punk, you know, the show's over and they're doing their goodbye promo and uh, everything's fine. I mean, he wasn't even getting booed that much. You know, it was it was a fifty fifty reaction during the show. And then um, I don't know if he got mad at if Punk got mad at the, at a sign, but or you know he just can't help himself. I guess I don't know what the deal is. So he starts talking about how. Um, you know, you go to to uh, he calls um, Hangman Page merchandise like peg warmer, and talks about how you know nobody buys Page's merchandise. And then he made a crack about, you know, he didn't knock the Young Bucks. He's not allowed to do that. But he did in the in the press release when the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and Adam Page signed the, their new four year deals. In that press release, they were talking about how they were the heart and soul. And Punk, st- I don't remember the exact, I don't have the exact wording with me, but I have the wording somewhere. But it, Punk basically made fun of the idea that they're the heart and soul and basically trying to claim that he's the, you know, he sells merchandise and he dr- drives ticket sales. And, you know, just this insinuation basically that the company, you know, needs him and he's the draw and all that. And so did that. The people booed the hell out of him when he did that promo. Later, you know, that so that clip ended up on the, uh, you know, on, on Twitter and everywhere. Um, afterwards, he, which did not end up there, you know, he continued the promo saying how much he loves all the fans and everything like that, the fans that were booing him and, you know, that type of thing. So he was definitely trying to be a babyface. It was not an attempt to be a heel. This is not, um, you know, an attempt. Uh, some people are trying to think that it's like some attempt, like that they've had this secret thing and they're keeping it from everybody and and that is not the case believe me that is not the case um i mean some people aren't going to believe me because they you know they have to be smarter than everyone else but there's if anything every time punk does something like this it makes things worse and in this case you know what happened was is there's been stuff since day one that has been going on and uh it's been kept pretty quiet and a lot of people really wanted to keep it quiet but you know it's not quiet now because he went once he did that you know things started coming out so um on yesterday's show in greensboro um adam page was supposed to be there not on the show he was supposed to do a pre-tape um so he went to the show was told that it's you know basically not to go to the building um the pre-tape had been moved and, and he did his pre-tape, you know, but it was not at the building. Um, Ryan Nemeth, okay, so the Ryan Nemeth story is is that on, if you remember the uh, ESPN article that Mark Ramondi wrote, okay, and Punk's doing the whole thing, and it's about Adam, you know, doing his complaints about Adam Page. And Ryan Nemeth wrote, and he never used Punk's name or anything like that, but he like there was a, there was a line on Twitter and he kind of like insinuated that you know the guy you know it's 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 ironic that he's calling people soft but he never used the name so Punk confronts him um, on June seventeenth Chicago first night back and there was an a, you know something happened I was told it was all settled it wasn't a big deal obviously it was not all settled um, you know Punk's side very much was it's it's Something just something that had to be taken care of. Well, it wasn't taken care of, and it, it, you know, what ends up happening because one's a star and one is anything, you know, is not a star, is that uh, Ryan Nemeth wasn't booked after that point, and you know, a lot of guys don't get booked. You know, I mean, it's whatever. And without, you know, now that they don't have dark and dark elevation, the reality is, is guys like Ryan, you know, Ryan Nemeth doesn't really have a place. Could they use him on Ring of Honor? Yeah, they could, of course. Um, but it's not, you know, it's it's whatever. So they hadn't booked him. So for whatever reason, he was supposed to come back last night in Greensboro. Came in, then was told, you know, however the story goes, um, you know, 
all of a sudden people find out that he's there and then he's told not to go to the building after he was booked so he was not he was never at the building nobody saw him at the building but he was there this is not the only time this has happened this has actually been happening um it's happened to several other people well i think it's happened twice to ryan nemeth this happened once before so this would have been the second time Mm -hmm. and then yes there are other people who you will not be seeing on collision well matt hardy was booked on a saturday went there and then was told not to go to the building yep after he got there um not that was not last night but but matt hardy um you know, Matt Hardy was one of them. Christopher Daniels, who had been working with Matt Seidel's tag team in Ring of Honor, for whatever reason, um, same thing happened with him. You know, he's not supposed to go on Saturday. And he's freaking head of talent relations. So, and um, there may be others, but those are the ones that I know of. Um, you know, that's that's been happening too. And, uh, you know, I mean, how this is going to end, who knows? I mean, it's just... Uh, you know, so wait and see what happens. But uh, it's it's nothing. Um, and there's a lot more too. There's a lot of other things too. But that's the that's the stuff that's you know pretty much out right now, I guess. Um, so there you go. I don't know. You got anything to add? But it should be made clear. This is not an angle. It's not oh, no, set up no, no. for a future match or anything like that. No, no. In fact, in fact, the, okay. Another another thing. So so, so you know, um, you know, like. Obviously, you know, the Young Bucks and FTR are wrestling at at Wembley, and they're fine. I mean, they may not be fine today, but they're fine enough to work together. You know, I mean, whatever it is, because FTR is always going to be aligned with Punk, and that's going to, there's always going to be issues, but they're fine. They've been fine for a while. Um, So that's, there's, there's, you know, there's no, there's, you know, whatever. But um, as far as, you know, Punk working with, every time one of these things happens, it makes it much harder, not easier, for this thing to. It's 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 not going anywhere, and and whatever, you know. It's it's just what it is, um, you know. You know you can. I mean, it's 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 frustrating to watch because it's it's. It's just really, um, you know. I mean. It's frustrating to watch. That's all I could say. I think um, how it's going to end, I don't know. Um, the idea that they're keeping people apart uh, because they're afraid. Not afraid is not the word, but some people don't want other people in the dressing room and however this is all going. Um, I mean, as far as the people themselves, um, you know, they believe that it's punk. Um, everyone believes that it's punk. I'm sure that Tony will say it's not punk, just like he did before. Um, but, I mean, it's one thing when they're not booked. You know, it's one thing when you're not booked. But when you are booked and you go to this and you're, and you're in the city and then someone finds out that they've, they find out that you are in the hotel and then all of a sudden you're told don't come to the building, that's not the same. You know what I mean? It, it changes the whole dynamic of everything. So there's a there's at times there have been plausible deniability, but this one it feels of like very implausible deniability, which is another thing why a lot of people have you know are pretty hot right now, you know. And I mean, I'm sure everyone's going to go and say everything's fine. You're just making it all up. But we saw that damn interview, and that opened you know once that interview happened, um, it opened everything up. I mean, this stuff was going on. Like I I made hints of this, you know, over the last couple of weeks. But it hasn't been anything that has been what I would call bad. But once it gets in front of the people, which it did, that changes everything. And once also when it comes to a guy like, you know, Adam Page, who's like a legitimate major star, and all of a sudden he's told you can't go to the building, um, that is really, when, when you're booked, you know what I mean? And that is, uh, it's, that's a really unique situation. So Ricky Starks comes out for a promo. God, this was the weirdest segment I have seen in I don't even know how long. Ricky Starks, last week, cheated to win the Owen Hart Cup. So this man comes out, and he is cheered. He talked about how much money he had, his expensive shoes, his expensive bag. Mm -hmm. 
He's rich, you see. So to review, if you cut a promo saying that you have expensive things like, oh, I don't know, a Tesla or a watch, and you only eat the finest steaks in the finest steakhouses, people might not like you. I have no what idea getting? what you're talking about. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.